first of all, I must admit that uh, uh, the, the presenters did a wonderful job in tackling the issues bedeviling Africa. Africa is very diversified, just like the, 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 the papers are diversified. And uh, that, of course, um, creates a, a difficulty in generalizing. We can't generalize. Everything depends on the context. And that's a very uh, crucial setting point because Africa is, uh, uh, is a continent where there are so many hotspots in terms of development. And these hotspots are associated, are, are associated with uh, uh, dependence on nature, more or less, in most of the context to, for, for the, the basic needs uh, the, 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 they need. The other issue of, um, of uh, bedeviling Africa is that the, there is no magic bullet which can solve the problem. So when we generalize that, for example, such and such a thing is going to solve the problem, it creates a problem in itself because we need to go in Africa context by context. That I wanted to uh, overemphasize that, that point so that we don't say uh, we are coming from, uh, from here having solved what kinds of things can be done to uh, minimize the, 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 the problems in Africa. The other, is, uh, the other problem uh, facing us in Africa is the issue of mindset change. The, um, somebody, of course, already talked about the culture, and there is um, difficulty in changing the mindset of individuals. Take, for example, the fact, that the overstatement that um, agriculture is rain-fed. We know that for crop production, crops need water. Crops don't need rain, right? And we have uh, rivers flowing, even if it is uh, uh, passing through uh, some villages where they can tap the water to pro produce crops. They wait for rain, despite that they can use the water to grow the crops, right? So um, it, there, there is need for um, information, in, uh, uh, providing information so that we tap the potential of these rivers to turn them into productive activities so that the, 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 the food can be made available and we don't rely on rain forever, which is not necessary, necessary as such. Now, the other, uh, the challenges, the challenges facing um, the, 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 the Africa uh, are also numerous and diversified. We have the issues of access to property rights, of, to land and water. We have uh, the, the issue of the, the problem of linking smallholder farmers to domestic and global markets because of the high trans transaction costs. We have the infra infrastructural bottlenecks, lack of data and information for action, and then of course the emerging climate change issues. All these are challenges which will take a while for, for Africa to uh, as uh, uh, to to uh, overcome the problems which can enable them to achieve the desired development, uh, and if we can bro break this problem into um, uh, 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 sections of the problems, there are the pro production-related uh, challenges, um, we, uh, which includes land land tenure insecurity. We have and unexplored irrigation opportunities, as I've just said. Uh, there is uh, uh, underutilization of the prevailing farm resources. The, the, the last speaker said as much. Um, poor physical infrastructure and post-harvest manage management. And we have losses so, uh, uh, um, going up to 40% of the harvest. So if we can minimize some of these post-harvest losses, through value addition, then of course, we shall be uh, getting closer to achieving the food security. 
Then we have what we might call market and institutional related challenges. Um, Africa, needs, Africa is bedeviled by what we might call institutional failure. The rules and, 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 the, the rules and uh, regulations are made, but they're equally uh, abused. And uh, uh, that is a challenge which uh, uh, we have to grapple with if we have to um, um, uh, transform the economies uh, in Africa. Uh, we have uh, um, weak research and extension capacity, and this is directly affecting the product, uh, productive potential of the farmers. If, for example, there's no information, there's no information about technology, there's no information about uh, 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 post-harvest management, of course, things will be worse and worse. And that, uh, of course, needs to be addressed. Um, the, the issue about microeconomic challenges also persists. Um, we, um, household decision making, uh, the, 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 the topic which has just been addressed, is very complex. It is not as easy as uh, may, may appear because decision making in the household depends even on neighbors. Uh, the neighbors have a strong influence on what can happen, uh, either um, in, um, coming through the wife or coming through the husband. In the model you came up with, there was no mention about the neighbor's influence on the household decision making, and that is important. Um, the, the issue of how um, um, the macroeconomic challenges affect the households also differ, because this also excuse me, depends on the information available to them, because in Africa, some of the households hardly see any government presence. So uh, we, it's very difficult to, comp uh, to, 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 to um, um, uh, model, models, so to speak. And then the other mar worrying challenges include the rural urban migration uh, problem, because um, urbanization is, is already creating heavy uh, farm labor deficits. And this is associated with the fact that the, the youth are shunning agriculture because of the, um, the, 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 the thinking that agriculture is only on the, 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 the beginning side of the value chain. There is no rethinking of the value chain because uh, they think if you go to agriculture, it's a very arduous kind of process and the, 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 your livelihood is not going to be better. So it, it, there, there's need to push the agenda of value chain thinking so that uh, you don't only think of agriculture as pr the production side, but all the way up to the export side. And uh, um, there is, of course, la rising land scarcity uh, and then the declining soil fertility. All these kinds of things affect the productivity of agriculture, which should uh, be uh, thought about. And then the risking, the issue of the risking de agricultural operations, right from production to international markets. There are so many risks. So again, that brings in the problem of modeling for a, a diversified system. So we should be thinking about ecosystem kinds of approach to tackle the issue and then focus on context. Generalization in Africa is a very, uh, is, 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 it will be flawed if we have to base it on policy making. So context matter and then the change of mindset within the African continent is equally important. Thank you very much.